All right, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions, licensed general contractor, builder, remodeler in North Carolina. We got Harley here. He's aerating the front yard. Um, <laughs> so it had not rained here in a few weeks. Give, give me one of those plugs that you just went across. We're, we're aerating our front yard. We just bought that from Home Depot. Bought a rental, one of their rentals, and. Uh, he just went across there there's one of the plugs now the reason why you're not seeing any thatch on the top of that that's because we actually ran our overseeder over this we took the bucket off uh, we did buy a power rake head for it but it's just not showing up so give me that right there so it's pulling that's the plug it's pulling out and it's 100 percent dirt so that, that's actually good there's no grass stuck to the top of that all right so it would be pointless in raking that up. I mean, that's topsoil. Yeah. So what I, this is what I want to uh, touch right here. When we, when he uh, aerated this yesterday, we got hit, hit with a fairly heavy rain. Now this is pretty, pretty heavy red clay here in North Carolina, but we're looking around. Now, the only reason why we found those plugs right there is because he just ran it across there but there's no plugs to be had out here they're gone so that rain totally deteriorated that that dirt and it's went down in there no. A lot of times that's why we do this stuff ourselves because if you were to hire someone they're just gonna do a half-hearted job all right so I want to talk about the aerator I'm gonna get away from the sound a little bit so I was always under the the understanding the reason for aerating was to come over a little bit in the sun was to pull a plug out that way when it rained the water could get down in there and you essentially you're lowering the water table not table but the depth at which water go saturates into the ground so you're going to have roots that grow deeper okay so I've since changed my mind I think that is some true but I don't think that's how it's working I think when you pull a plug out an aerator it's essentially relieving the soil when we uh, run our excavator and we will pull a hole dig a trench or what have you it loosens the dirt within a radius around that area all right so here's my thinking with how an aerator works it pulls that plug out and gives an area to expand so where the magic happens is comes fall time when you head into uh, two different times once it rains too and the ground swells it's going to fill that hole up but you're like well if all my soil washed into there i don't think so the soil um uh, expanded and basically it took all of the soil and pushed into that area that that plug came out of now and when it dries that soil is going to be lighter there's another big benefit to aerating is you're putting that plug up on the top surface we just physically saw it happen now we dethatched prior to doing this so we don't have the issue but I know a lot of guys are raking all that but we went ahead and dethatched and the plugs that we're pulling out are hundred percent dirt there's really no thatch on top of them so it just rained here almost it, it was a heavy rain and almost all those little things are halfway dissolved and just walking around on here I can I can say that I'm an expert as far as in the excavation field because you know the difference between soil that's wet and what have you this soil feels different today After, when you walk across it he aerated midday yesterday it rained in the afternoon this soil feels different it just does not it does not feel like wet dirt it has a cushion to it 
that tells me that the soil was relieved. So if you're gonna buy one of these used, make sure you get a, uh, a newer one. The reason why I say the tines on the back, they, uh, I'm a little winded because I've been out there running it myself. Um, they actually have uh, dogs in the different engagement teeth. So to help them spin independently when you're turning it. Apparently the older units, all of them were locked solid. So when you would go to make a turn, it was really difficult. So let's check this out. See how these spin independent? Apparently the older ones, those were all locked solid, making it very difficult to turn. Well, it's already difficult to turn, but apparently even more. Here's some plugs from yesterday. Here's one plug. I don't know if you can barely see that, but it's almost gone. Here's the other plug. So, what better soil could you have up on top? I mean, it's really light, so aerate this thing like crazy. Dethatch, aerate it like crazy. And you're gonna have to time it with the rain. I really do. Because you're not gonna be able to, you, well, you could sprinkle it. You can't be airing unless the ground's fairly moist. My opinion. So we're gonna try to have a good yard. All right. So let me let me get through these things quick. I was thinking about when we do our remodeling or building the parameter around the house mainly where we do all the walking that ground is compacted so hard um to where you can you you can barely get a shovel through by the time the the project's done so your lawnmower if you're hitting mowing the exact same direction all the time you've got to come up with some method to relieve that soil so that's why they always talk about hitting your yard from a different direction so you're not continually compacting it all right earlier in this i was talking about magic happening in the fall let me explain what i mean by that if when you aerate and i really got thinking about this how cool this is when you aerate and you remove remove a plug of dirt and then you head into and i don't care if it something does fall in there it's not going to be compacted so you head into fall you go through the winter months and that's where everything heaves. Everything gets pushed out because during freezing process and everything expands. You come out on the spring side, and okay, when it expands in the winter time, with you removing that core, it has a place to go, to expand to. And so on the spring side, you're gonna have loamier dirt. You're, you're, everything is going to be released now we're gonna be we're gonna be hitting a double we're gonna be i'm i'm gonna aerate in the spring too just, just a light pass and then we'll double up in the fall but that's why we bought it the more i understood about aerators i was like we gotta own one because i think those things are way underused so all right we'll see we got a bunch oh hey oh and uh we got a weed let me come over here stand this on we got a weed in our yard and you aren't going to fully understand until I get a little more into it. But um, not only is our yard sloped, uh, that's why I don't just uh, smoke the yard and round up it and replant it. I'm worried about the neighbors reintroducing that. So we're going to be taking that on in a different method this next year as far as trying to control that Bermuda from coming back from their yard. Um, the slope is the reason why I don't just round up our yard because it's really difficult to hold seed during the replanting process so yeah it's uh we don't have the best yard for <laughs> architecturally and from landscape it's a really cool yard but it's more of a difficult yard to plan on to plant seed grass all that jazz so all right we'll see you